Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to share with everyone, and that is that we just found out today that um, astronaut John Young has passed away. Uh, and John Young is honestly one of my all-time favorite astronauts. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick moment and share with you some of my favorite memories uh, of him and just help you uh, remember why John Young was an incredible human being. And we're going to start off with, I think, the most uh, famous story of John Young. One of them. It shouldn't be, but it is. Uh, it's at least one of the most hilarious space stories. He smuggled a corned beef sandwich with him into space on Gemini 3 in 1965. Uh, now, this was significant because at the time, um, the Gemini program was to help NASA figure out how to get humans to the moon. And one of those things they had to figure out was how are we going to feed astronauts and not only nourish them, um, but also make it taste okay and not be super crummy. So they spend millions of dollars developing uh, new space food. And all of a sudden, John Young shows up and smuggles a corned beef sandwich in his pocket of his spacesuit, pulls it out mid-flight, takes a bite, and immediately, obviously, the rye bread crumbs just float off everywhere, which was not very ideal with a lot of sensitive electronics. Uh, that's awesome. He actually got in trouble for that. Now, as an astronaut, he was phenomenal. Uh, he flew on six missions. He actually flew on two Gemini missions, um, Gemini 3 and Gemini 10. He flew on two Apollo missions, Apollo 10 and Apollo uh, 16. And he flew on two space shuttle missions, STS-1, the first space shuttle mission, and STS-9. He not only commanded the Gemini capsule, he also commanded the Apollo command module. He also commanded the Apollo lunar uh, excursion module, the LEM. Uh, he also is the only person to have walked on the moon and flown on a space shuttle. So that's amazing. Uh, one of my favorite stories about him is uh, talking about being on the moon. When he was landing on the moon uh, for Apollo, Apollo 16, his heart rate was only 90 BPMs. That's like my resting heart rate now. And to compare that to Neil Armstrong, his heart rate was 170 BPMs. So this guy is just... <laughs> Just off the charts awesome. Uh, there's, I'm going to show you a real quick clip here of him talking about that. I found out from the flight surgeon later on that my heartbeat was 144 uh, at liftoff. John's was 70. Yeah. Well, I told him. I said, mine is too old to go any faster. Yeah. And here we get a really good sense of his humor, too. He's very deadpan, very dry sense of humor. And John is also famous for having driven the lunar rover, uh, and he was very aggressive with it, went very quickly on the moon, uh, and came. they ended up uh, shooting this footage that ended up being called the Lunar Grand Prix, which you've probably all seen, which is if you see a really, someone going probably too fast on the surface of the moon on the lunar rover, that's John Young. Yeah, that's him. And he's he quoted, and I think this is hilarious, he said, uh, it was hard to tell how fast you were going, because there were no telephone poles. I think one of my favorite things too is he was asked if he was nervous about you know being on the first space shuttle. And his quote is, anyone who sits on top of the largest hydrogen oxygen fueled system in the world, knowing they're going to light the bottom and doesn't get a little worried does not fully understand the situation. Um, I think that's amazing. And to reflect upon his uh, brilliance, he was the backup crew for Apollo 13. And remember, Apollo 13 was a spacecraft that um, had an anomaly on the way to the moon, and it almost left all three astronauts stranded without a possible way of uh, returning home alive. The backup crew was very crucial in, in doing a lot of tests and procedures and coming up with a lot of the plans on how to actually get these three people home safe. And he's credited with being one of the people that actually came up with a lot of the procedures that saved their lives. So that's amazing. Um, but I think... One of the biggest things that I, I, I think I want to end on one of my favorite things that John Young has ever said, and that is, the human race is at total war. Our enemy is ignorance, pure and simple. And to me, that's uh, as true now more than ever. So, um, John Young, you will be forever missed. You'll be forever remembered. And our thoughts are with you and your family today. Um, we're very sad to have lost such an incredible person, but guys, I encourage you to go watch some videos of John Young. Um, when We Left Earth is a phenomenal video series. He's featured in it a lot. You get a good sense of his humor in that series, so try to find that if you can. I'll try to find a link and put it in the description, but um, I just want us all to take a minute and remember John Young today. Goodbye, John. You'll be forever missed. Uh, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space down to Earth for everyday people.